Greetings, I'm Art Fireman. I'm the editor of Smarter Home Automation. Today we're looking at a product from Lutron. In this case, it's what they call a plug-in lamp dimmer. Now, most of the time you use these things inside your house. You plug it into a wall outlet, you plug your lamp into it, you hook it up, it talks to the Lutron hub. We use a Lutron Caseta hub here, which is their, quote, entry-level line of lighting products, uh, dimmers, uh, shades, and so on. However, today we're moving outside the house and if you'll follow me, we're going to show you where we've installed the uh, plug-in dimmer and how we're using it to light up our house at night. We're outdoors here in our front yard, and what we've got is the Lutron dimmer sitting inside a waterproof mount right here. And as you can see, we've got the power cord from this device above plugged right into it. This is an old school. This is a low voltage supply because it's low voltage lighting we're dealing with. And if you look inside the lid here, it's one of those old fashioned timers everybody used to use, okay, so that you could have the lights come on for a few hours and go off again. Since we just installed this yesterday, we're still using this, although I'll probably replace it with a low voltage supply that's tiny by comparison since we don't need the timer. Looking down here at the uh, Lutron again, you can see it's got an off and on switch as well as dimming functions. But you know what? This is outside. We're normally going to handle this using the Lutron app. All right, let's see how we work uh, our Lutron switch and therefore our driveway lighting. We'll tap our group for home automation here and tap the Lutron button. I've got a whole bunch of Lutron devices in here as scheduled. For example, since I just installed this last night, it's the last one here. It says driveway. They give you a a few different icons to use, but nothing that was really appropriate, whatever. Okay, well, in order to set a schedule, we need a scene. I've already created a driveway light as a scene. And now that I've done that, I can go in here and I can set the schedules. So I'll tap the schedule right there. And as you can see, I have already created two, but let's take a look at them. For turning it on, I have driveway lighting. It's set up from uh, Sunday through Saturday and I've already got it set up to come on at 15 minutes before sunset. It uses the usual kind of a wheel to set your times and such. Okay, save that. And then I also already created one called driveway off. Tap that one. This time I have it set up for 11.30 p.m. Again, Sunday through Saturday. So at 11.30 at night, the driveway lights will go off. Or in this case, the driveway light. Of course, as you just saw from the app, we've set this to turn on the light right before sunset. Basically what will happen at exactly 15 minutes before sunset, the light's going to come on. And then at 11.30, of course, because of the schedule, it's going to turn back off. And at any time I want, of course, I can either turn on the light or turn it off using the app itself or using the controls in the front of the dimmer switch. So again, here we installed it externally uh, in a waterproofed housing so we can control our exterior lights. So far we have a single driveway light that illuminates the front of our house, but we'll be adding more low voltage lights, which will also be controlled by this switch. That's it, Lutron Caseta, and we are Smarter Home Automation. I'm Art Fireman, thanks for dropping by.